you so determined to die? One last chance, villains! Bow down and acknowledge your king! Your god! Feet. Oh my god, he's on an ego trip! Ah! Yes, 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 yes! Let's get him! Finally! <laughs> You cannot defeat me! I am Lord Vorthry, and I am the one who has completed No Not November! <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out when the heck that happened. Like, how? 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 You old sinners! Think you can compete with me? <laughs> Ooh, did he just summon a did he just do a horn thing? Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my gosh. His music is different. I will strip you of the illusion of will. Yeah, this is a slight remix of um, the nighttime theme Ooh. of uh, what's it called? Shadow, uh, the um, Crystarium, nighttime Crystarium. I like that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, oh, jeez, no! Suffer, suffer, suffer! Suffer and know your folly! Damn you! Why do you need a fall? Oh, know your folly. I thought he said know your mommy. I was like, okay, that's a weird line. <laughs> Also, notice his name. All the other Sin Eaters are some kind of forgiven sin. His is innocence. Good lord, he believes in his bullshit. Nope. That's terrifying, man. Like, because there are people who are like that who believe in... Ugh. And things that are just terrible, but they think it's good. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Oh, I don't like this. 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 What's happening? Oh, no. What's happening? no, no He's completing No Not November. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> I see, I see. Bullshit. Are you serious? Anywhere. Anywhere. I shall embrace this crisis. You're kidding me! Yeah, he's no, he's hot now. I'm leaving. I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> what? In party in, in, in party chat as well. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. I guess in this scenario, it's like, oh, my Vaughn 3. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know who has a bigger ego, Vaughn 3 or um, the leader of the Garlemelds. I can't remember his name. Uh, Varus. Yep. That, sh that should be a... Um, <laughs> oh, thank you! Thank you, Anon! L'Oreal Paris, because you're worth it, Vothry! <laughs> Ow! Oh, I keep running the wrong direction, that was bad. Oh, crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, there we go. Uh, like, a tier list of, like, which villain has the biggest Most ego. Most conceited villains in Final Fantasy XIV. Yes! <laughs> 
If you can list, if they're not in the tier list of, uh, if they're, if they're on the tier list and it's something that's not from Endwalker just yet, I'm curious what your thoughts are. Oh my god, why can't I get it? There we go. Yeah, I think Vothri's definitely probably number one. Like, Varus is pretty up there, but at least he's like a disciplined man, you know? Mm -hmm. He's a leader of a country and he, I mean, they all believe in their cause, of course, but yeah. like, at least, at least you could kind of see where Varus is coming from. He's wrong, clearly, but yeah. like, it's like, yeah, he's trying to bring order to the world, I guess. And, but Vothri's just like, no, the world is, is hopeless and doomed. Let's destroy it. Like, let's just live out our days and just submit to, uh, to the Sin Eaters, which is not too far different from, from Varus. It's like, just submit to Garlemald and this will all, you know, all the suffering will be over. Wait, I thought Gama was trying to get everybody killed so that he can be like the number one. No, well, in partly. Nation. Yes, Ow. but not like partly, kind of. But it's all in efforts to bring peace to the world in their own twisted way. Oh. And also to rid the world of, of primals, which we also want, you know, we want the primals to be gone as well. But they're just going scorched earth with oh god, it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. They just believe they are the ones with the authority that should rule the world in order to make that so. Mm. But the secret um, that most of the public doesn't know is that Varus is doing it also to bring about the rejoining via calamities. Right. We <laughs> But that's more that's more behind the closed doors knowledge. Because I'm sure even if the the populace of Garlemald was um Um I'm sure the populace of Garlemald was let known that there would be more calamities. I'm sure they would not be too happy with it either. Mm. Also, we have LB3. If you want to do it, you can. Now's the time! Now's Oops. the time! Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Oh, come on, break. let me be. Ah, there's so many things happening. Oh my gosh. I'm a flower. <laughs> You're a flower. Look That's at all so those cute. lotuses. Oh, that was pretty. Mm -hmm. My god. I, I Sometimes I feel like you have like six eyes just to see all these things happening. <laughs> it's just like, there's so much happening. Like, where did you even have time to look up? <laughs> I, uh, I also have my UI arranged in a way where things are pretty close together, so I don't have to move my eyes a whole lot. I'm sorry, did you guys get hurt because I didn't stack with you? <laughs> we would have gotten hurt anyway, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's just the more people stack, the, the more reduced damage there is, but yeah. you will always get hurt. Don't worry, you did great! I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, everyone did awesome! We did a wipe! That was fun! Hmm. Why, why am I cast down when it is you who are the villains? Good lord. Yeah, I'm very curious. I want more Vothri reveal. Like, what is his backstory? Talk to me, dude. You are not innocent. <laughs> I am righteousness. I am... God! Father. Now hold one second. That is why I was born as man and sin to both. Born? I kept the people safe. They respected me. Worship me. I'm sorry, I'm still processing the fact that he was born as a as a as a human and a sin eater? He wasn't created? How can this be? 
I should be the one looking down at you. Oh, this is weird. It's like we're eating Vothri. No, I don't want to touch that. No, I don't want it. No. Ooh. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> God, we consumed Vothri. No. Look, the sky. Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, razed to the ground. Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. Oh, God, Emmett. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal, one that will ensure the longevity of your reign. Damn it, no. But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being, a king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. Oh my god, Emmett created Vothri? Oh, I hate it. Mm hmm. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vothri, they behave as docile pets. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. That 
That is too cruel. Lothity was cursed at birth too? Are you alright? Right? No, I'm not alright. Right. <laughs> too much light! Rianjay, help! Twelve for Fend. She cannot contain the light. She's beginning to turn. Orionje, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. It's changing back. What? Oh no. The combined power of every Light Warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. Hmm? Channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. What? As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you. What? No, uh, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Is he putting up an act? Damn you! We won't let you do with her as you please. No, you do not Jay's interfere. On it. You're in jail on this. Please, I beseech you all, let him go. You knew of this, Urianger. It is all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. Uh. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrend. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter, I concede. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Oh my god, it was the cat boy! <laughs> Call him by his name! Starts with an R, I think. What is it? What Ro is his name? Ro 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 <laughs> <laughs> Raymond? <laughs> no, no. 
Uh, uh. It's funny that you remember it kind of yes and no. Thank you. Because Fighting knowing it by the R is actually the more intimate way of knowing it. Fare you well, my friend. My inspiration. No! <laughs> Did I just hear a gunshot? No! Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. <gasps> Such individuals do not exist in the first. Ah! I knew it! <laughs> Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the Tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. This is tragic. I don't like this. He was doing something awesome. That he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. He's my friend. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. Um. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you, let myself believe that you could contain the light. But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. What do you intend to do? <sighs> I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthry. But thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided she could contain and control the light. If not, then she and by extension you, would be of no use to me. It was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing Light Wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away. And I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Uh-oh. Hmm. You still retain your form and your senses. 
But you have all but become a Sin Eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into Sin Eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Oh, the irony. What Vorfri achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Oh, this is Gaia. Hey! Exarch! I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. I pity you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. What? There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Till then, Til then, I bid you I farewell. farewell. Eater. Eater. This ain't light, this is heavy. This is... Finally. What happened? After you collapsed, Emmet's self vanished. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. all over. 
the whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. Sad.